To factor this polynomial, let's start by identifying what the greatest common factor is between our y terms and our x terms. To do that, I'm going to pull this out to the side and make it a little bit bigger. y squared, x to the negative third, plus y to the fourth, x to the fourth. So the greatest common factor between our y terms will be y squared. So if we divide that from both sides, these y squareds will just become 1 times x to the negative third. We pulled out y squared plus y to the fourth divided by y to the second. We have two numbers that have like bases that have exponents. So when we're dividing these two numbers, we need to subtract them. This is the same thing as y to the fourth minus, or excuse me, my goodness, y to the four minus two. And that would give us y squared. So we will have y squared and x to the fourth. Now that we've simplified our y terms, let's go over to our x terms. Greatest common factor between our x terms is x to the negative third. Again, these x's will, anything divided by itself is just equal to 1. They'll cancel out, leaving us with x to the negative third, y squared, taken out of 1 times 1, plus y squared. And then over here, again, like bases with exponents, and we're dividing. So that means x to the fourth minus a negative 3. Be very careful with your signs there, because subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So now this problem becomes x to the 7. So you really want to make sure you're subtracting the negative there because that can completely change how your math turns out. So this result will be x to the 7. And now we just need to simplify this multiplication here, which will just be 1 times 1 is equal to 1 plus y squared x to the 7. And all of that is being multiplied to x to the negative 3, y to the second, making answer choice A our correct answer.